Hi, this is Pastor David Rosales of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California. We've been studying the book of Proverbs in our midweek service. And last night we looked at Proverbs chapter 26. I spent some time looking at verse 1, which reads, As snow in summer and rain in harvest, so honor is not fitting for a fool. I noted that the person who is declared to be a fool is regarded as one who despises wisdom and is therefore arrogant, simple, senseless, and even stupid. Taking that into consideration, Solomon was saying that snow falling during the summer or rain falling during harvest is not normal and is therefore inappropriate. Because those things are inappropriate, a foolish person is not worthy of honor and giving honor to a foolish person is also inappropriate. The sad fact is, in our society, we have almost completely disregarded this proverb. It seems that honor is very often given to those who least deserve it. Let's be real and admit that we Americans habitually give honor to undeserving people. We give honor to spoiled athletes, ungodly actors, profane TV hosts, obscene rappers, pornographic entertainers, ignorant activists, and greedy, self-serving politicians. On occasion, one of these self-appointed voices of the people decides to lecture us on making moral choices, and when they do so, it is like what Proverbs 26 verse 9 says, when it says, like a thorn that goes into the hand of a drunkard is a proverb in the mouth of fools. It is actually painful to hear them pontificate about matters above their moral pay grade. One politician decides that they are now a theologian and she lectures America concerning the spark of divinity that is in all people and doesn't think that we are smart enough to see through her smokescreen. She wants minority votes and is willing to endanger Americans to get her party back in power. Another tells me with tears in his eyes that he cares about illegal immigrant children being separated from their parents when the fact is, all along, he's in favor of abortion even in the last trimester. He and his pro-abortion friends have the gall of telling us that they care for children when in fact they are in favor of partial birth abortion, one of the most barbaric acts that has ever been practiced in history. In spite of this, millions of Americans continue voting for these people who are destroying America. This is simply inexcusable, but we continue voting them into office watching their movies, reading their books, listening to their music, and giving them awards for their skills in entertaining us while we mindlessly walk to destruction. The sad fact is that the great God who formed everything gives the fool his hire and the transgressor his wages. They will ultimately reap the results of what they have sown because according to Romans chapter 2, verse 6, God will render to each one according to his deeds. It really is time for us, the church, to awaken from our moral sleep and to be awake unto righteousness. As Paul instructed the Ephesians in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 11 through 16, we are to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them, for it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light, for whatever makes manifest is light. Therefore, he says, awake, you who are asleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Be careful who you allow to influence you, and be wise enough to check on the things that they are saying. Perhaps we should remember the lyrics of the song that says, smiling faces sometimes pretend to be your friend. Smiling faces show no traces of the evil that lurks within. The fact is, hypocritical words often hide an evil heart. Sadly, this is true, and for the child of God, it is very important for us to be aware of the days that we are living in. Reserve your honor for those who deserve it, who have earned it, and who live in such a way that they may preserve it. Honor God, your parents, the virtuous, and those who deserve it. Continually pray for those who are in authority 
and ask the Lord to manifest himself to them. In these last days, do your best to redeem the time and to bring honor to the one who deserves all honor, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Pastor David Rosales of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California.